Hey, my name is Nick. I'm the director of Insights Hub at Question Pro. I wanted to give a quick demo of how Insights Hub works. It's going to take four or five minutes. There's a lot I could show you. I'm going to stick to the basics, the fundamentals, and you can always reach out to me with any questions. So this is the Insights Hub home screen. It's pretty basic, as you can see, featured prominently right in the middle of the screen is the search bar. That's because Insights Hub is the home for all of your insights or research data. It should be and, and will be really easy to find anything that you've ever done as an insights team, as a research team, through this search bar. So if I want to say, hey, do we have any research on the topic of, uh, we'll say teens, I'll type in teen, click search or, or hit enter, um, and it will pull up all the projects I have that mention the word teen. It'll pull up all the notepads. There's none here, but it'll pull up any notepads or notes that mention the word teen, and it'll pull up all of the nuggets or key findings that mention that keyword. Now I can search uh, a longer phrase, has any of the words exact phrase. I can search within particular programs or project types. Um, I can specify this a start and end date uh, within which to conduct that search. Um, and then whatever tags that, that I might be interested in looking inside of. Now, that kind of depends on how you've set up your, your hierarchy or your taxonomy as an organization. But the point is, it should be easy and it will be easy to find anything that you've ever done as an insights team through that search bar. Now, why is that? Well, that's because all of your uh, insights, all of your projects live in Insights Hub. So this is my demo account. You can see I have hundreds of projects added to uh, this, this database, this table. Um, let me click on this one here. This is a project called Teens Online Purchase Behaviors Survey. Now, this is a, uh, we'll call it, it was a survey project, it's, it's, it's in the title. Um, but this is a project that was conducted, let's say it was done over the summer, and let's say your organization uh, is trying to learn more about how teens purchase things online because you're about to launch a new product that's, let's say it's it's targeted at, you know, teens, U.S. teens. So you've conducted a survey to learn a little bit more about, you know, who makes the purchase decisions, um, what kind of things do they purchase, how often do they make these purchases. Um, you add to that project when you create it an introduction, a descriptive introduction that makes it easy to search for this project and to find what you're looking for. Um, you add, I have some dummy text in here for project findings, any kind of summary or high level key, key um, you know, executive summary you want to leave also searchable. Um, and then these are the nuggets of the key findings, just kind of the key here. This is what people or researchers are looking for when they go into Insights Hub. They want to know specific pieces of information. What did we learn? What information do we have? What's an insight on blank? Whatever sub, you know, fill in the blank with whatever subject or topic that you're interested in. Um, these are added manually. Um, they're not necessarily typed in. You can highlight text from elsewhere inside of Insights Hub and add it to a nugget inside of a project. And I'll show you how that works. The operations tab inside of a project is where you can link surveys from your Question Pro Surveys account uh, here. So if I click Link Survey, it's going to pull up all of my Question Pro Surveys. Um, I can select the one that I want to link to, click that. It'll add it to this list. Uh, it'll show how many people have started and completed that survey. I can also link an external tool. So if I have a survey, a survey project from another platform, or whatever kind of project from whatever kind of platform. I paste the link here. Um, I can title it here to make it descriptive and easy to find and select the label. What kind of, what kind of project or what kind of tool was this? Um, I, I want, if I want, I can also select a status and it'll add it to this table uh, below so that anything that was used uh, to conduct the research that was part of this project is linked here. A questionnaire, an interview guide, uh, you know, video recordings, let's say, of people using an app that your UX team is using to make the app better. Um, who knows what it is, but the idea is every tool related to a project is linked here. Um, the files tab is where you would upload and add files to uh, this project. You can search within the contents of those files from the Insights Hub search bar. Um, this may be Word documents, PowerPoints, uh, raw data files, whatever it is you want, you upload them to this um, inside of the project, the relevant project, so that you can find them later. A lot of teams use, you know, they'll use Insights Hub to, to, to manage and keep track of all of their research, um, but they still deliver their findings, let's say in a PowerPoint, add that PowerPoint to this project inside of Insights Hub so you can find it later. So anybody that goes back to look at, hey, you know, what was this project? What did the deliverable look like? can find it. Um, notepads is where you take any notes related to a project. So I have uh, several notepads as part of this project here. Um, let me click new notepad just to show you. Or you can create a blank notepad, which is just like a sticky note, a live interview, uh, which you, you can add an interview guide to that, uh, that sticky note, um, or a video audio um, in, uh, notepad, which is where you can add a video file or an audio file as you're watching it or listening or listening to it, you take notes on that file. Um, you're able to then tag those notes, uh, 
push them to your key findings or your nuggets. Um, and everything you leave as a note inside of Insights Hub becomes searchable. So I'm not going to dive into that right here. Uh, but please, if you have questions, let me know and I can I can show you later. Finally, the activity log is, shows the record of everything that's ever happened to a project, who did it, what they did, um, and when they did it to make sure it's easy for an insights manager or team lead to go back and look at, you know, what happened with the project, who's been involved, um, you know, what changes were made, uh, and if something looks off or if something's confusing, uh, you know who did it and who to go ask about it. Um, so that is what the activity log is for. Um, that's a really powerful tool. It just happens automatically, but it's pretty powerful because as you can see here, like everything I ever did to this project is recorded right here. I don't have to go chase anybody down to find out if this project was linked, you know, which questionnaire was used. Maybe you made a copy of a questionnaire and you don't know which one was actually used as part of the survey. Well, you can see that here. So uh, it's a pretty powerful feature. It's very simple, but um, I, I, I look at that all the time. So that's what a project is. Now, once you have all of your projects uploaded into Insights Hub, um, you can do this, you know, you can backlog it and put them all in at once. Um, and then get started and start adding them, you know, one by one as you do them. Uh, we have a built-in project manager to make that easy. But once you have everything in Insights Hub, I think, or I hope you can see, it becomes really easy then to kind of do a lot of analysis across all of these projects. So I'm going to quickly show you three different features that have to do with cross-project analysis. Stories is a feature we built uh, to make it easy to share narrative insights findings with anybody. So what I'm actually going to do is click on drafts here and show you a little bit how this works. Um, this is a story uh, that that pulls data or pulls insights, I should say, from different projects inside of Insights Hub. So if I make this claim here, this is a completely made up story. Uh, but if I make this claim and I hover over this claim here, um, it's going to show uh, which project that came from. Um, same thing down here. And I, I do, I can compose that and make those links inside of Insights Hub here. How? Uh, we'll write down, I'll scroll to the bottom, press slash. I can select which block uh, to pick from. Let's say I want to add a, an image or I want to add a, you know, just text or a, or a subtitle or a heading. Um, let me add that here. Heading, you know, findings from survey. And then press enter, uh, pick whatever kind of other block I want to use, text, and start writing what the findings were from the survey. If I want to add an image file, I can also do that. I'll select an image from Unsplash. Um, any, oh, that's an embed. Anything that I want, any any you know key phrase or search term, if I say I want to add something about teens like we did before, I'll click teen, click this image, add it to the story, and here it is with the uh, attribution. Everything is, is, is correct, is uh, up to par as far as how the images should be shared from Unsplash, uh, which is a free uh, image uh, kind of database. Um, so it's a really, really easy, quick way to compose deliverables or just reports or teasers, whatever you want to call them, and then share them with anyone. So if I convert this to a published story, um, I'll publish this story. This link right here is shareable with anybody. You copy, paste that, send it to anybody. They can view this story. Uh, as you make updates to it, it will be updated in real time. Um, it, it's, it's a powerful way, like I said, to pull in insights from across your, your repository database, have it all in one place so that readers can see where these claims are coming from, can see, hey, this team has a, you know, a report on this subject. They have a report, you know, uh, they have this kind of data. I've been looking for that kind of data. Where is this report? I want to see it. I want to learn more, whether it's someone else at your organization, whether it's one of your customers. This is, hey, I'm interested in purchasing this report. This is really, really interesting. Who knows what the applications are? Um, we're seeing a lot of teams use this in pretty creative ways. So that's stories. And again, it's only possible because you now have all of your insights projects and your key findings hosted in one database, Insights Hub. The next thing I want to show you is called knowledge graph. So I'm going to click on this knowledge graph here. This is called too expensive. And I'm going to flip this view uh, to this vertical uh, orientation. Um, as I go through, if, if I, let's say I'm a researcher and I create a knowledge graph called too expensive and I file that under a heading of willingness to pay. Um, let's say I'm just interested and I've noticed something as a researcher that a lot of people are saying this product is too expensive. Um, as I'm going through and, and, and recording interview notes inside of Insights Hub, analyzing survey data inside of Insights Hub, I'm making notes about what I'm learning. Um, I can highlight claims, phrases, sentences, uh, and then tag them to this knowledge graph so that I can then see, hey, every time too expensive is mentioned, the idea comes up. Here are the projects where it's mentioned most often. Here are the projects where it's mentioned least often. Over here is where it's commonly paired with. So in this case, uh, it looks a little wonky because it's my demo account, but 27% um, of the time, 
too expensive is paired with a project. Millennials is also paired with the project. Now, let's say that said 94% of the time, a clear opportunity for further research that you might not have known existed if you didn't have all of your insights, all of your projects sitting in a database like this. This exposes opportunity for follow-up research by, by um, indicating where themes are overlapping where themes are coming together in ways that, again, you would not have been able to know if you did not have one database housing all of your insights projects. That's a knowledge graph. And then last thing here is a snapshot. I'm actually gonna go back to a project, the project I was looking at before, and show you snapshots that way. So if I click on uh, this nugget here, 41% of teens make online purchases at least once per week. I'll click on snapshot. I'm gonna click create new snapshot. Um, what's going to happen is I'll select uh, a backdrop. I like this one here. Add image. It's going to pull up Unsplash again. I'm going to write in uh, here teens since we're talking about teens. Use this image, add it here, and it's done. Click download. You can share that file anywhere with anyone on Slack, on LinkedIn. Uh, the idea is to show people the kind of insight you have in this platform to entice them to come look at it, to entice them to come learn what they can learn about you know, their product. Let's say they're on the marketing team or they're on the product development team. You know, what does the insights team know that they need to know, that they should know, that they didn't know the insights team knew? You wanna entice them to come into this platform. When you download and share a card like this, the project name is listed here uh, so that anybody can copy that, go to the search bar, go into Insights Hub, paste and find that project, see what they need to see, that they didn't know they needed to see. Insights teams have a lot of data that goes unreported. Um, if it's not unreported, it goes un, it's underutilized because you know there's a lot. It survey generates a lot of information. It's really important that all of that is stored in one place in a platform that can help you to identify those kind of trends and, and can enable other researchers or just other team members in other departments to start to also build out this insights hub by saying, hey, this project is relevant to what we're working on. You know, we, we only know that because we happen to find it inside of Insights. Hub. The last thing I'll show you is just the analytics tab. This is a quick dashboard of everything that's going on inside of Insights Hub. Um, it shows you the number of queued projects, active projects, completed projects. These are customizable kind of numerical calculation widgets. Um, I've set these up to be project fee and the sample panel cost. They can be whatever you'd like, um, but the idea is that you're able to see kind of, you know, average whatever over time. A lot of some teams manage spend very closely with every project. Other teams might manage the number of you know inputs they're getting from consumers or from customers into their surveys, their feedback, what number of interviews they've conducted, whatever it is you want to do. You can customize the labels there. And then um, we're actually building out a more advanced visualization feature so you can take this graph and any kind of, uh, you know, calculations that you want um, so that, you know, you can see, hey, average project fee by project type or average project fee by researcher, who knows? Um, interested to see what you come up with. That is Insights Hub in a nutshell. It's quick, probably more than five minutes, like I said, but this is a quick overview. There's a lot more you can do when this, in this platform when you have all of your data uploaded into it. It's a really, really powerful tool uh, to have all of your insights data in one database, all of your project titles, all of the researchers, all of their insights, all of their notes. And this is across UX, CX, MRX, uh, you know, qualitative, quantitative, everything. We're adding a, a way to pin secondary research items to individual research projects inside of Insights Hub. So it's a big tool. It's really powerful. Um, we have a lot of, we've had a lot of success so far. A lot of teams are using this and demoing this and coming up with creative ways to maximize the value of the insights that they've already created and then use this as a project manager to make sure they're being as efficient as possible moving forward, adding data to the repository in real time. There's no need to go back after the project is done and fill everything out. Use this repository uh, from, from project kickoff uh, to the time that you deliver, deliver results or deliverables. So that's Insights Hub. Please let me know if you have any questions.